All right, welcome back, friends. It's Chad. It's Gamer for Fun. We're playing Eye of the Beholder, a legend series, fantasy role playing saga, volume one by Westwood Associates, SSI, and TSR. We're playing the uh, GOG version in a DOS box, which allows me to bring you the all seeing eye which is the auto mapping and cheat extraordinaire. Let's not forget, it is a massive cheat program. I'm not using it for that purpose. I'm just using it for the auto map, which a lot of people would say, yeah, that's cheating anyway. But you know what? We're playing for fun. And nobody wants to sit around while I draw maps to sort out where the heck I am. Because guess what? Those maps have saved Bella's life more than once and they're about to save it again uh if you bailed out early because i was gonna end the episode early sorry about the misdirection there um didn't mean to but just we were so close to actually finishing uh the um so close to making the connection and getting out of that locked one-way room that um, I was like, you know what, let's just finish her off, right? So that's what we did. So uh, guess what? We're here now. I don't even know where the heck we are. Where are we? We're back on level... Is it level four? There is evil that lies. Okay, so I'm looking for... Since I'm on level... This is level four, isn't it? I want the Oracle of... Is this the Oracle of Power? Oh, the Oracle of Knowledge. Okay. Oh, okay, friends. And these are the Orbs of Power, and that's the Oracle of Knowledge. What you do... I have no idea what I do. <laughs> I think I put the Orb in there, and it identifies all my items. Did it do it? Ah, oh, it did it. It did it. Yes. Yes. Luxstone medallion. Look at this. Adam and Dark plus four taken. Ah, backstabber plus three. Okay, this is the greatest thing ever. Okay, let me, uh, what am I going to do here? Let's get the map off. You guys don't need to see the map. You want to see this. This is so cool. This is, man, I don't even think I did this in when I played it years and years and years and decades ago. Okay, so this is the Luxstone Medallion. If I throw that on, it makes him lucky. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it's something. I didn't see any stats go up or anything, but you know what? It's not cursed, so we're going to wear it. It basically identifies everything um so for instance uh cursed axe minus three what the heck okay let's throw that down that's garbage um door drow shield plus three Ginsu plus four. See, everything that was like not identified before is now like this is exactly what it is. Okay, so this looks like a regular shield here. Um, so things that I'm not sure about. Uh, you know what? What am I doing here? I'm all over the place. For instance, Night Stalker plus three. Bow. Dwarven Shield plus three. Scepter of Kingly Might. Leather Boots. Oh, no, these rings. Ring of Adornment. Ring plus two. Plate Mail. I'm like a kid in a candy store here. This is insanity. Uh, Drow Cleaver plus three. Ring of Adornment. And Ring plus three. Uh, what else? Night stock. Have I already? I feel like I've been this way. Feather fall and feather fall. So basically, you don't need two feather falls. Ring of adornment, ring of sustenance. 
So now that I've identified this stuff, it actually should work and do what it does. I think the rings of adornment adornment are like garbage. I, I just think they're like nothing. But you know what? We're going to actually cast um, detect. Okay, the curse stacks minus three. That's, you know what? Out of here. Okay, uh, who's got the stuff? You got the stuff, don't you? Nope, wrong one. There you go. Nope, what am I doing? Here we go. Detect. Okay, so what do we got? So quickly, I'm just going to, because it's going to wear out. So let's just look at Luckstone, okay. Uh, is that a regular shield? That is a regular shield. See this? T tough to tell, but that is magic. Um, that is kind of garbage. Garbage? Necklace of adornment? Garbage? Um, nothing useful. Saying that's adornment. That's a plus three. Mm hmm Okay. Scepter of kingly might. You know, I don't... Is that nothing? That's nothing, man. Let's throw that down. It's useful. Okay, yeah. This is like... Oh, it just wore off. Okay, so uh, let's sort out what we got here. So what are you... Okay, what the heck am I even doing here? You're in the front with Severus? You're in the back with a bow? All right, let's take the time to take the time and sort out this mess. Oi. Okay, drow shield plus three. Who's using a shield? I think that's little Brian's got a shield. Okay, yes. Okay, what else? So that was kind of cool to uh, stock up on that stuff. Let's just... Do a bit of stuff. Cure poisons. Oh, I should have looked at the wands. Why didn't I look at the wand? Oh, wand of lightning. Wand of stick. Okay, not sure what that is. Wand of magic missile. Fireball. Frost. Stick. And frost. Okay, so these might be garbage. Okay, good to know. All right. Yeah, this is uh this is useful. This is super useful having these identified. Okay, mace plus 3 looking good there. A couple of that stuff. What is this? Plus 3 adornment garbage. Plus 2. Okay. Sorry, I know I've looked at all this stuff before. I'm just like, ah, I got the, I know what stuff is now. Okay, very cool. I think we're in a better spot. I think we're in a much better spot. Okay. And that was the orb. And how many times can I use the orb? Like if I dropped it in. Okay. All right. Okay, so who's got what? That's a plus five, man. That is, yeah, that is, um, that's like awesomeness right there. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> okay. And you got the Night Stalker plus three. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm in a good spot here now. Okay. All right. Okay. You know, Bella could probably, why don't we do this? Yeah, why don't we do this? Uh, well, I mean, you're obviously out, but let's do this. Okay. All right, let's go get Bella uh, sorted out. And let's get the heck kicking butt and taking names. Now, uh, what's the best way? Oh, that's funny. How many times, friends, friends, how many times did I have to make this Kessel run here? Um, just to get, remember, remember so many episodes ago, 
I had to do this just to get, oh man, remember I was in such a bad spot. I couldn't sort out any of this level or anything like that. And now look at me. I'm the Han Solo here of, uh, of I the Beholder. I wish you luck. You know what? Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. I could use your luck. I could also have used some freaking help here. Oh, resurrect dead. Thank goodness. Yeah, Bella. You got it. Uh, now, can you... Gaffrey's rested. So, did you heal everybody? Oh, nobody was really hurt. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get. I feel okay now. I'm now I'm in fighting form. Now we're in fighting form. Here we go. We're ready. To, we're ready to take on Xanthar. Uh, you know what? Let's before we do. Let's do a little save game. All right, good to have Bella back in fighting form. I got everything identified. Uh, where am I going? I think at this point, I'm ready to... Um, I'm ready to crush, kill, and destroy. Oh yeah, I gotta go up. Okay. All right, friends. Let's do this. Ah, you know what? We still got to do the special quest for level 8. Oh, we need darts. Ah, ah, ah. What the heck, man? <laughs> we need darts yet. Oh, and I don't have the map on. You got no clue where I've been going. I've been talking about the... Oh, man. Sorry. Ah. That's so funny. I am like such a terrible host. Oh, Dixie. Dixie Flatline. Why didn't you tell me I was running without the map? Ah, man. Okay, I have no idea what I want to do now. This is... Nope. Where does this take us? That is the little thing there. You know what? I'm just going to take a quick peek. Uh, this takes us to level 9, location 11. Okay, and this takes us to... Uh, level 11, location 3. Okay. Uh, let's just see here. I admit I am at a loss on where to go. Uh, I'm looking at the map. Okay. Oh, I got a pocket full of keys. Ha! Friends. Yes! I got a pocket full of keys. And that leads down. And this leads to the Skeletal Lords. Have I done this already? Yep. You know what? I have done this already, but you know what? Um, now that I'm much more powerful, let's just see if I missed anything here. Because, oh, there's a rapid transit there. Uh, I don't know where that takes me. I feel like I've been there before. Right? Haven't I? I'm just going to take a quick peek on the map here. Location 82. Where the heck is 82? Uh, that's 82. Uh, and that is location 70, which is all the way back there. Magic. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, this is... There's levers all over here. And, okay, there's a ton of stuff here. I am going to pause. Actually, I am going to do one of these. I'm going to pause the recording. All right, I'm back, friends. Uh, okay, so here's the dilemma. Let me Let me show you what I'm looking at here. All right, so you can't see the cursor, but I'm I'm to the right-hand side of that map. You can kind of see the uh, arrow that I'm at. Okay, so behind, so on the on the wall, you see those three doors. One says magic, one says armor, and one says weapon. Okay, here's the dilemma. When you open one door, the other two cannot be opened. All right? So you pull one of those levers on the wall to open. Actually, let me uh, do one of these. Let me do one of these. Here we go. All right. So there's writing somewhere. Where is the writing? Here we are. Weapon. Okay. So I pulled that lever right there. It's going to open this weapon door. And behind here, I took a look at the clue book. It says there's a plus three short sword named Slicer. Okay. Over here. Armor. I pull this lever. It opens this door. And there's plus three elven bracers. However, I pull that lever. The other two doors become inaccessible. All right, dilemma, right here, magic. I pull this lever, guess what? A ring of wizardry. Now, now, every one of us has got our own little style and would make our own choices. I've given this a tiny bit of thought, probably not enough. I think I want the ring. Um... Let me just pause the game here so these monsters don't, like, keep spawning. Uh, I think I want the Ring of Wizardry because the Ring of Wizardry, if I remember correctly, uh, it doubles either all the magic user spells or it, it just adds extra spells at certain levels. Don't know. 100%. Um, this is AD&D 2nd Edition, so I'm sure I absolutely know someone's going to know the exact answer. Um, however, I'm just thinking the weapon plus 3 sword would be awesome because Ambella could double wield, but you know what? She's going to take a penalty. This is 2nd Edition. She's taking a massive penalty for swinging that 2nd sword, and chances are I'm going to end up losing it or something like that somewhere. A rust monster will come along and eat it. The armor, the plus three elven bracers would be awesome. However, uh, I would probably just throw them onto uh, somebody and never think about them again. However, the ring of wizardry, if it doubles the number of spells, even for a certain level, for Cedric, could you imagine him rolling in with like like two cone of colds or like a bunch of stone skins or even at this point like just having like four lightning bolts so i think i want to do the ring of wizardry okay so that's what we're going to do let me get the old map down here we go uh yeah yeah sure why not Stretch it up there. A couple extra millimeters. Okay. Uh, is this the one? You know what? 
A smart player would save their game before doing this. Uh, a cyber cowboy, however, would just yank on that lever. Okay, we're going for the magic. Ring of wizardry. Ring taken. Okay, now I have to identify it before I can use it, right? I bet you that's the case. Okay, well, let's just put it on. We know we're going to wear it, right? Uh, let's take a quick peek. Memorize. Yeah, I think I have to identify it. So this is worth running all the way back and identifying this with the orb. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, that lever does nothing. That lever does nothing now. Um, technically, I could cheat it and teleport into those rooms. It's not my style. That's not what we're doing. Uh, let me look at the map and figure out how the heck do I get to the orb quickly so I can identify this so I can use it. This is, you know what? I probably never did this at all when I was playing this years and years and years ago. Obviously, I got to use the rats to get out of this little area which I will, then what happens? I go there, I go there, I go there, and I go there. Okay, all right, this is going to kind of be a milk run of uh, episode to get back to the, uh, to get back to that um, orb of power to identify this. So, uh, if you want to fast forward, now would be your opportunity. Um, otherwise, I will see you when I get to the orb. You're probably gonna, and feel free to skip ahead. I mean, totally. This is just me, like, randomly running here and making mistakes and talking about it. So, here we go. Let's do one of these. Clickety-click, barber trick. That is a reference to a very old cartoon. Well, I say very old. I don't know. 80s, 70s. I don't know. Barbera. I don't, a barber? I don't know. Clickety-click barber trick. It's from a cartoon. <laughs> now I can't remember what the hell cartoon. Where the heck am I? What am I doing here? Oh, the orbs right here. What? Oh, well, that was nothing. Yeah, boy. Okay, Cedric. Ring of Wizardry. Okay. Memorize. Uh, hmm. That was... What? Double the spells, man. What is going on? What? What? Why aren't you... Huh. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> You're wearing it right, right? Like, put it on. Okay, take that one off. Maybe you can only wear one at a time. Uh, okay, memorize. Zero, zero, zero of two. Basically, I'm looking right here um, for, like, increase in... Uh, it should... Why is it... Did it double them? No. Scribe? No. Pray? Uh, doesn't the ring... Okay, friends. Ah. Uh, I don't know what's going on but you know what nine times out of ten i would have pulled that first lever anyway so i'm not like <sighs> like ring of wizardry should did it increase my stats anywhere no did it no hmm interesting so it doesn't do what I think it should have done, which is like give me awesome godlike powers. 
Uh, however, the Elven Bracers plus three would have been awesome. <laughs> this is just one of those things that maybe I'm not as good as I think I am. Maybe Neuromancer was right, and I am not worthy of Cyber Cowboy status. Hmm. Oh well, okay. We'll, that's a problem for another time. I'm not going to go back and reload just to get some Elven Bracers plus three. In hindsight though, Elven Bracers plus three would be pretty sweet. <laughs> However, <laughs> we're playing it for fun. So we, where, what am I using here? Is this what I'm doing? Where's the scepter? Uh, is the scepter missing? No. Okay, so I gotta go here. I think. I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Is this one of those situations where I'm kind of distraught? I don't know. Do I gotta fall through that pit? Maybe I gotta fall through that pit. Ha! <laughs> Friends. Uh, man. Where the heck am I? Is this a one-way portal? Don't tell me I'm in a one-way portal now. Okay, I have no clue what I'm doing. It looks like, okay. Just let me get my bearings for a second here. Uh, okay, I am going to, I wanna go downstairs, that's upstairs, that's upstairs. There's only one set of stairs that goes, there's two sets of stairs that go down. Okay, how do I get there? Run this way, run this way, run this way, run that way. Okay, got it. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. It's saying I gotta go here. And I'm just gonna do a little slide this way. Hang on, can I do a slide that way? This way, this way, over here. Thank you, auto map. Uh, I think I've already been there. Let's do one of these. I'm gonna run backwards, running this way now, this way and down the stairs. And, oh. The Mantis Hive. We've been here, haven't we? I mean, obviously, we've been here, but we have been here. I feel like I've... Oh, I feel like there's a, there's a dude here, isn't there? Yes. Let's see if I'm any better. And I am clearly not any better. Okay, so paralyzed. Okay, so do I have remove paralysis? Yes and yes. Okay, so we are okay. Okay, uh, what the heck am I doing in this level now? I don't need to go down here at all. Thank you, auto map. Uh, there's portals on the walls here. Yep. Hmm. Uh, and there's something here. Oh. 13. Okay. Huh. You know what? I am maybe let's You know what? Friends, I'm going to end the episode here. Let's uh let's be smartish about this. I'm going to end the episode here. We're at yeah, we're at 30 minutes. Yeesh. Okay. Save game. Going to do one of these. Do one of these. 
I'll show you what I'm looking at here. This is kind of what I'm looking at. Um, I kind of think I either got to go through these portals here or I have to crack that lever and figure out what 13 means and just fight it out down there. I might check the clue book. I kind of only want to check the clue book when I kind of hit a, uh, a spot where I'm in trouble. And I don't think I'm in trouble yet because I can obviously go down there and pull that lever and stuff and see what happens. So uh, I'm not going to check the clue book just yet, but uh, you never know. I am going to, however, end this episode and um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you again. Thanks a lot, friends. And uh, that ring of wizardry, man, what the heck happened there? Ha! Huh. I might check the clue book for that. <laughs> I, I mean, I looked at the clue book to know it was a ring of wizardry. It kind of let me down, though. Oh, well, that's what we do when we play gamer for fun. We play games, we get let down. That's how it is. You know. We'll see you again real soon. Thanks a lot, friends.